Capricorn. Page of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Poor communication, I would say. And also an energy of being hurt, an energy of taking risks, an energy of letting go of, you know. So let's see what's going on here. Page of Swords in reverse with the Four of Cups in reverse. Emotionally draining and poor communication with this person, probably at this time. Probably something we pull from the past. Page of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Swords. A new beginning, knowing better, cutting off the BS. This is the energy of now I know what what happens and, um, and moving away from it, right? And justice, Libra energy. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius also. Maybe an air sign you are dealing with. But I'm, I'm sensing the unspoken truth of, of, um, of justice, right? Page of Swords in reverse, lovers. Again, this connection with this person, Gemini energy. For some of you, might be an air sign you are dealing with, but I'm, I'm sensing that love is not dealt the way they do love, the way you do love is not on the same page here. Page of Swords in reverse with a Knight of Cups upright, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is I'm ready for love. This is I am maturing through the process. This is, I start to see in my hand a cup of love for somebody new, right? Page of Swords in reverse, Four of Swords. But we have some healing to do. The universe is saying not just yet. We need to step back. We need to uh, spend some time alone, plan and strategize, be, be smart about something, you know? So let's see Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, Two of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles upright and the Page of Wands might be, might very well be an Aries Leo Sagittarius Page of Wands but somebody stopped fighting um, and Two of Pentacles the same energy oh my god and the Ten of Pentacles upright oh, okay we have the Tower in reverse I, I love confirmations and that's why I keep taking the cards because we have one here Ten of Pentacles this might have been a solid marriage Ten of Pentacles is about legacy and family and kids you might have had children with this person there are a lot of two maybe you had two kids with we do have a, a boy here so I'm just saying um, but Two of Cups in reverse. This um, connection, this emotional bond was no longer there. And somebody, Seven of Wands in reverse with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody stopped fighting. Okay? We Somebody abandoned this connection in terms of energies to put into. And Two of Pentacles upright is a lot of effort in reverse. It's like, oh no, I'm dropping this like it's hot. So probably this is the overall situation for you. And again, might have been a fire sign so far is the only energy we have, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Might have been on an impulse, might have been with the energy of a page, right? Might have been something, you know, uh, not really giving a lot of thought and a lot of time. But, um, but it happened, so. So past energy is on your side, Capricorn, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, the magician. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Manifesting a Sagittarius, maybe you're manifesting moderation, compromise, and step-by-step -step kind of energy. But let's see before we jump to conclusions, right? let's see what this is all about so in the past we do have the emperor and the eight of cups a controlling relationship capricorn might have been an aries um you've dealt with um, might have been uh, you know somebody in a position of power somebody very solid leading the house like the, that was no tomorrow and then eight of cups right that was a walking away it feels like taking charge of a situation and walking away that's the uh, so this might have been you or the other person but again i go back to emotionally disconnecting and stop uh, and stop fighting uh for this connection that's the energy of we i give up right throwing your hands out in um up in the air or maybe that's what they did that's it i give up i walk away 
and it feels the same emotional disconnection and the, the same emotional withdrawal that happened and um, somebody took charge of it somebody decided to do something about it. Um, and it's interesting right it's paired with the emperor and emperor is a very mature energy it's one of the most mature um, I mean he's the king of all kings right so that is a form of control that is a form of thinking that is a form of plan to it and yet it's paired with an emotional um, energy so go figure right that was an explosive energy of emotion and also control of some sort now this person of yours king of cups upright pisces cancer scorpio and the uh, knight of wands in reverse so knight of wands in, in reverse is the energy of lacking passion uh again um, disconnecting this is probably um, absence of um, sensuality sexuality love life um, and with the king of cups somebody was there um, ready for love right king of cups is the energy is a very loving energy of course it's the energy of people taking care of people so they might um, have been working in healthcare or something um, king of cups we know it's um, right the doctors the nurses and uh, intervention workers, social workers, and, and people taking care of people. And it might be that for some of you, or simply a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but they might have gone out of passion and out of, um, I would say, sensual appetite. Oh, imagine me. And the words I'm using today, <laughs> I surprise myself. So you get my point, right? But very loving. King of Cups is a loving energy. Um, and... Um, Oh, Capricorn. Um, Seven of Cups in um, mutual energies between the two of you in the past. Seven of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is the clarity that that is no longer love. That is no longer an emotional bond. That is no longer something to fight for. This is how it feels. And uh, we are ready to walk away. And it's interesting, both very mature in the process. Emperor with the King of Cups. Again. We'll see if this is you and your energy, Capricorn of the Emperor. Maybe you have um, Aries in your chart and you show up here more from your um, placement of, of Aries in your chart. You have to check that out So, um, for this reading. So anyways, clarity, right? Ace of Cups. Our baby, our cup is empty, right? We no longer feel the bond and the emotion and the desire and the desire. Um, so that is that. I know. Okay, so let's see energies right now. We do have the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Hierophant Taurus energy, but this is giving up. Page of Pentacles in reverse is no offer on the table. I give up. I let it go. And um, yeah, that, that is a sense of still being committed, but in the same time, it's like, you know, um if you give up i give up kind of energy you know um that's also an energy of not wanting to compromise and for some of you this might be about money and um it's like no i'm um you know i am not compromising when it comes to whatever uh, has to be mine um Taurus energy now this person of yours Three of Pentacles in reverse and Seven of Pentacles upright. They are very patient about descending. Three of Pentacles in reverse is the energy of I can no longer be part of this uh, commitment right now. I have nothing to bring to the table. Um, there is nothing uh, left to be built for me or um, an, an interest of some sort because this is all about um, um, everyday life and they are uh, willing to wait till uh, the harvest time till the time is right you know um to kind of um i would say three of pentacles in reverse right to to do something about their commitment um capricorn we have knight of pentacles with the empress in reverse one has something uh, left to give the other one has nothing left to give um your mutual energies at this time um you show up here uh, between you and this person for some of you it's another earth sign there might be another person between the two of you this knight of pentacles I'm I'm, I'm I'm strongly sensing that this is your energy and it's like yes I'm not willing to compromise but I still believe that this marriage can be saved in some way while this person show up, shows up with the empress in reverse right we are 
kind of there is nothing left in me that will make you feel uh, loved and nurtured and um, and taken care of you know but they are patient about the process that's um that's good to see yeah we stop fighting and we let go of stuff but um you know still we have this patience to to do things uh properly um capricorn coming your way and this is really some food for thought for some of you we do have the five of wands and the five of swords some conflict coming your way some situations where we really need to be cautious about the way we speak we have the swords about uh the five of uh, five of wands the way we relate to others um the environment the people that you fight with um, this person in particular and also some changes and challenges in the process when it comes to this commitment this relationship this whatever um no compromise uh, policy you have given yourself some food for thought right uh twice five of wands five of swords uh we i mean right we take uh, things slow and uh, and um you know words are very you know to some extent they they can be dangerous so just saying now this person of yours um capricorn they have the magician and the death somebody is manifesting new beginnings somebody is manifesting transformations and endings to major arcana they are really wanting to change their life around they want to turn their life around 180 degree um this is alignment and uh, law of attraction um, somebody goes full spiritual but also feeling more and more confident and having trust in the future and the transformation they went through beautiful energy might be painful for for them but it's um it has a beautiful energy now mutual energy is between the two of you the strength and the knight of wands if you are dealing with a fire sign this is the energy of them being courageous you being courageous is the might be another person between the two of you like a leo or an Aries Leo Sagittarius can be your person standing between you and them in the sense that they are blocking and and keeping this um, away. Um, because honestly, um, Capricorn, there is a strong energy on their side. It's like, you know, I'm um, I, I want something new. It has to. It has to. They are manifesting strongly something uh, like a completely new cycle of some sort. I feel you detaching. The whole energy here is taking control of over the situation, emotionally withdrawing and and no not compromising. But I'm I'm sensing we have some more work to do. Um Capricorn on our side too. You know, just make sure that we um we end the situation. Um because uh, twice the ten of pentacles I'm sure kids are involved over here. Family, family members, community. Um, people of um, great importance is the extended family, Ten of Pentacles, right? Like parents and in-laws and brothers, sisters. So I, I, I'm sure that, you know, some, some people are involved and we want to make sure that um, whatever has to end, ends in, um, um, in a respectful way, I would say, in, in a, a dignifying kind of way. Um, yeah. So let's ask for some guidance. Let's have romancing just let's see what we need to do it's kind of clear um we kind of know where this person stands but how about us so we do have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take we have deception someone is wearing a self false mask in this relationship and we do have religious factors your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. You know how it feels? It feels like a couple staying together because there are norms and uh, morals, something that's empty. And um, we are deceiving each other because we cannot separate or divorce. And the universe is kind of saying, oh, come on, you can make the effort. You know, there is deception and you know people are staying together because of religious uh, factors or you are staying together. And actually, we only stay in loving relationships. Um, Capricorn, we do have the distorted masculine. So in your energy, that is somebody needing help. That is somebody changing this connection. That is somebody making this connection difficult to manage. And something needs to be healed over there. 
we do have the silver waterfall and this is all about protection this is a wall right a water wall between you and a situation that is hurting deceiving this is all about you and your um own inner world and we also have religious factors and now we have compatibility so between you and this person we might not be that compatible we might need protection we might need to step back and we might need to understand that there is a distorted masculine energy in this and somebody is suffering okay that is deception and that is suffering because of it now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow and we have virtue so we have distorted masculine and virtue so you acknowledge that loving spiritual attributes you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow so kind of you are guided right to help others in the process in their process share your wits and smarts and experience and bring virtue back into the flow now we have gratitude I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it's, it presents. So we need to bring back into the flow gratitude by saying, you know, activating. We activate by saying, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. We need to be creative when it comes to this situation. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. We do have surrender stress. Take a deep, um, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go and as you come to your center and bottom of the deck harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. And it's interesting because the energy coming your way is um, kind of a warrior one. <laughs> five of Wands, Five of Swords. We know that we have to be, um, you know, kind of aware of um, conflict energies coming our way and the guidance and what we put back into the flow is actually harmony right you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything we don't need to fight right we need to find the point of balance i'm um, kind of the universe saying that and staying strong uh, we do have the energy between the two of you, the strength, which is the energy of taming yourself. And we have the knight of wands, a fire sign needing to tame themselves or um, you needing to, to kind of tame the, the fire in you and in this situation. Um, now Capricorn, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.